What was that, Lofty? Oh, that's Wendy. She's welding. What's she welding? I don't know. Morning, all. Hope you're ready for action. I'm always ready for action, Bob. Ba -dow, ba -dow, ba -dow. Why, Bob? Because there's been a big competition to design the new Spring City Clock. And guess who's won it? Was it us? Did we win? Uh, we didn't enter the competition, Mac. Oh, yeah. The winners are Mila, JJ, Brandon and Safi. The, the Spring, Spring City, City Rockets. Rockets! Yes. And this is their design. Oh. Oh. Who are the people on top, Bob? They're the old lords and ladies of Fixum, made out of metal. These doors open and they strike the bells whenever it's something o'clock. Is there a prize for winning? Oh, yes. The prize is that we are going to build their clock today. Today? <gasps> That's right. Today. I didn't know you could make clocks, Wendy. <laughs> I can't. The actual clock part has already been made. I've just been putting together these metal figures. Ah, so that's what you've been doing. Are those the Lords and Ladies? Yes, Dizzy. Can we see them? Not yet, Scoop. They're to be a surprise. So no peeking. Morning. Morning, Morning Leo. Leo. Aha, the clock. Oh, is that brick cladding around the clock tower, Bob? Yes, it is. Huh. I've never done brick cladding before. Can I help build it? If there's time. But it's also recycling day today. So, first of all, I need you and Muck to take all our recycling to the centre. No problemo. We'll sort it out in no time. Won't we, Muck? No problemo! Teuton's already delivered materials to the site. So, Scoop and Dizzy, you come with Lofty and me. Bob, call me when you're ready for the clock and the frame. OK. Right. I'd better get back to work. Come on, Muck. The sooner we get the recycling done, the sooner I can help build that clock tower. Whoa, whoa, stop! I've missed one. We'll be back in a bit, Wendy. Right, Muck. To the recycling centre. In double quick time. Right. Everything's ready and good to go. And at four o'clock, the rockets will be here to see their clock in action. This afternoon? Yes. We'll have to hurry, so we need the concrete mixed straight away, please, Dizzy. You've got it, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, everyone. I'll tell Wendy we're ready for her. Let's go! Shall we load everything now, Wendy? Yeah, I've nearly finished. <clears throat> Don't forget the cardboard box. Cardboard box? What cardboard box? There's a cardboard box over here, Leo. Oh. Ah, that must be it. Ah. Right, I'm ready. OK. I hope there's some cladding left for me to do on the clock tower. I need to practice my bricklaying. Ding, ding. Next stop, the new Spring City clock. Hi, Betsy. Hiya, Bob. We love your clock design. We're so excited. Except, where's the actual clock? Don't worry, JJ. The clock and the lords and ladies are on their way. It will be ready, won't it, Bob? 
By four o'clock, Safi, just as promised. Aw, I'm too late. The tower's already built. Sorry, Leo. We had to get on with it. Never mind, Leo. You can help us finish it off. Rocket, I've got a surprise for you. Huh? Oh no! Newspapers? Well, that's not much of a surprise. But where are the metal figures? Leo, this is the box from the garage, isn't it? No, it's the box from the office. The office? Huh? Where did you put the box from the garage? The one with the metal figures inside? Oh no! I thought that box was. <sighs> We took it to the recycling centre. Uh-oh. Does that mean our clock won't be ready in time? No, Safi, it will be ready. I'll just have to go to the recycling centre and find the box. I'm coming too. It was me that took the wrong box, after all. To the recycling centre! <laughs> no. No. Uh... No. No. <gasps> this looks like it. Oh, keep looking. Ah, here it is. Ugh. Oh, we'll never find it. There are so many boxes. And they all look the same. Everyone's asking when the clock will be ready, Bob. Will it be finished today? I promised, didn't I? <laughs> of course it will. <sighs> we must have looked in every box. I've really let the Spring City rockets down. I better call Bob and tell him we can't find anything. Oh. Oh no! I've left my mobile at the yard. Oh, I remember putting it on top of the box with the figures in. That's funny. I know it wasn't there when I took the box. Are you sure, Leo? Yes, the lid was flapping. <gasps> Wait. Hold on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes! Uh, what are you thinking? It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. What's worth a try? What's going on? Maybe, just maybe, my mobile phone fell into the box. OK. <gasps> huh? Found it! Yay! Yes! Oh, now I get it. <laughs> OK, Muck, we've got the right box at last. Well done, Leo. Off we go. Let's get going, everyone. It's not long till four o'clock. And I promised someone their clock will be built by then. It's four o'clock. This is where the lords and ladies come out. Spring City will know who designed the Spring City clock. Huh? Wendy, is the clock really meant to sound like that? <gasps> oh no, not 
again. Hello, Roly. You off to see Curtis to get your headlamps fixed? Yes, Wendy. I'm blinking everywhere I go. See you later. <gasps> and four Spring City rockets to visit the yard. Hey, Hi, Wendy! Hiya! Well done, Safi, for winning the designer statue competition. Come on, the team are waiting for you. Morning, all. Hope you're ready for action. Here she is, the designer of this marvellous elephant. Oh, well done, Susie! Oh, oh, lovely. lovely. Oh, thank you. I drew the elephant to look like Mr Trunkers because he's my favourite toy, but... Last week, I was playing in the park and I lost him. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, Mr. Trunkers. Oh, that's a shame, Safi. Let's hope you find Mr. Trunkers very soon. At least you'll have your statue to remind you of him. Right, Wendy. Now, Safi, your elephant statue is going to be a water fountain. It will stand right outside the shopping mall, so everyone will see it as they go in and out. And it's going to be ten feet tall. That's taller than two of you. Wow! Thank you! Right, team, let's get going. And, Muck, I'll need you to collect the elephant as soon as it's ready and bring it to the shopping mall. Oh, I would love to. Thanks, Bob. We're going to have to work quickly, team. Spring City News is interviewing Safi by the statue at tea time. Can you build it? Yes, we can! Dry. Now we can build the wall. Mix up that cement, please, Dizzy. Right away, Bob. Are you sure you want me to take these bricks back to the yard, Leo? Yes, Scoop. I'm making sure that the site is clean and tidy. OK. How am I doing, Bob? I've got to see my college teachers tonight and tell them about all the jobs I do to help you. You're doing fine, Leo. But I do need to build the wall. Oh, with those bricks. Scoop, come back. Scoop. Safi, your elephant looks amazing. OK, Lofty. Slowly and carefully now. Righto. All done, Wendy. Thanks, Lofty. Now, will you pick up the three bottom sections for the statue to stand on, please? They're in a crate round the front. I'll be with you in a minute. Sure thing, Wendy. See you later, everyone. Bye. See you later. Time to go, guys. Come on, I'll walk you to Betsy. Thanks for taking care of my elephant, Mark. He looks brilliant. See you at the ball. Oh, I'd better back up and try again. Betsy, want to see Sappy's elephant? <gasps> oh, no. I've spoiled the elephant. Oh, I should tell Safi. Uh, Betsy, is Safi there? Oh, yes. She's inside, chattering on about her wonderful elephant and how pleased she is that you're looking after him so well. Oh, no. I can't do it. I can't tell her. So, are you showing me this elephant then? Oh, uh, no. Sorry, I can't. I, um, uh, I need to go. Hmm. Oh, dear. <gasps> After we've picked up Safi's mum and dad, we'll go on to the mall. I'm Yay! so excited! Oh, I can't wait to see my elephant! Oh, I'd better tell Bob what's happened. Oh. Ah. And... finished. Hiya. How's the wall going? Great. Now to test it. Oh, let me do this, Bob. Tonight I have to tell my teachers about how I help you check things are ready. OK, just give it a... Oh, gentle nudge. Oh. 
Or maybe I should say, Bob, the elephants had a bit of an accident. <gasps> huh? Mr Trunkers, is that you? It is you! Hello, Mr Trunkers. I'm Muck. I... Oh, no. That sounds like Betsy again. Betsy, can you make an extra stop? I need batteries for my camera. Dad, I want to go to the mall and see my elephant. But, Safi, I've bought this camera especially for today. I want to take lots of pictures of you and your elephant statue. Oh, dear. He can't take pictures of a ruined elephant. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Maybe it's better if no one sees what I've done. OK. Ready when you are, Leo. This way, Lofty. And stop. OK. Now, release. Well done, Leo. That was perfect. Hear that? I was perfect. I'm so going to ace it when I see my teachers tonight. <laughs> well, I did all the lifting. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, never mind. Yeah, check me out. Now, all we need is the elephant. But where is Muck? Thank you, Curtis. My new headlamps are super. No more blinking for me. No one will see the elephant here. They're all at the mall. Hello, <gasps> Muck. <gasps> Hello. Wow, nice elephant. Did you know that its paint is scratched? It was an accident. I was going to tell Bob, and then I thought... <laughs> Look, Bob here. You need to bring the elephant to the mall. Over. Oh, now what do I do? Don't panic, Mark. It's only scratch paint. Just tell Bob. He'll understand if it was just an accident. Come in, Mark. Where are you? But I feel terrible if I own up. More terrible than now. Oh, no, you're right. Thanks, Roly. Muck here, Bob. I'm on my way. <laughs> Betsy! But I can't let Safi see her elephant like this. I have to get to Bob before they do. He'll know how to fix all this. Going very fast. Everyone, move out quick! Slow down, Mark! Now! Oh. Oh, I'm not stopping! Look out! No! Oh. oh dear. <gasps> oh. oh no! Look at my elephant! It's almost tea time. The news crew will be here any minute. Oh, I should have owned up straight away. Then we'd have had time to fix the elephant. Now we've just made it all worse. Oh, Safi, don't worry. I'm sure we can fix this. Let's get going. Bob, I think I found Mr Trunkers at the park. But I left him there. Why don't you go and get him once we've finished? I'm sure Safi will be very pleased to see him. Who I found today. Mr. Trunkers! Ooh. Thank you, Mark. I'm so sorry for damaging your elephant. It's all right. I know you didn't mean to. 
I'm really proud of my team. Muck learned from his mistakes. Leo got ready to meet his teachers. <gasps> Oh, no! My teachers! I forgot all about them! Now I'm late!